Yeah, we have like two other ones too. So yeah. So we're just adding to the right. I like that, and then I'll change my hair a little bit with the next one because it's kind of crazy. Cool. But you can start whenever you're, enough. you're ready. Okay. Hey everybody, Rochelle with uh, Grief Recovery with Rochelle, wife, mom, advanced grief recovery specialist. Uh, you like what you see? Like, subscribe, send me your comments, questions below. Today we're going to be talking about fixing others. <sighs> How fun is that? So, fixing others. So, you ever have someone come to you and they are sharing, you know, something that's hurting them, something they don't feel com uncomfortable or they feel uncomfortable with, something that just doesn't go well, and then you automatically, or maybe it's not you, maybe someone does it to you, which is probably how you're going to notice it most. Someone starts to say, oh, well, you need to do this, or you need to do that, or have you ever thought of this, or what about that? And they start just sort of going to the fix. Well, we all have those, actually, and I can be that person sometimes, too, even with my kids. This isn't about being perfect. It's about bringing awareness so that we can try to be better for one another. So what I notice is, what we notice in grief recovery is... Whoever's sharing the emotion, I'm feeling like this or this is going on in my life, you are called the griever. Whoever's sharing is called the griever. And the griever is just looking to share their emotional truth and have someone receive it. But what happens is the person that we're sharing it with, the listener, now becomes the fixer. They sort of get uncomfortable with the emotion that I'm having. They don't really like to see me down. You know, it might be very loving or it might be sort of annoyance or whatever, but they don't like to see my emotion. They don't know what to do with it. It's causing feelings inside of the listener. So the listener is like, well, I don't like that. I don't really know what to do with it, so let's fix it. But they don't go through all of that slow process. They just go to the things that have been rehearsed, like, well, you know, you gotta find the joy, find the positive, stay good, keep trying, stay strong, you gotta be strong, persevere. And they go through all of these things that are telling you how to fix your problem when all you needed to do as the griever, or me, what I needed to do as the griever, is just feel heard emotionally. Not, not fact, 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 but what is the feeling? I'm feeling sad, overwhelmed, embarrassed, whatever the feeling is. And so what happened is there's a little shift that happened where the listener became the fixer. And now me, the griever, I'm feeling analyzed or judged or criticized. And it doesn't feel good as the griever. The listener was not trying to hurt me. In fact, they're trying to love me. But they went straight into the fix, which is coming at me as judgment, analysis, and criticism. And of course, we all know that when we're feeling sad or having some kind of emotions, feeling criticized doesn't feel good. So what's going on with the listener? The listener has a set of feelings going on because their friend or their loved one or just some random person is hurting, not feeling great. And they don't know what to do about it and it doesn't feel good inside of them, so they go to the fix. What they've done though is take the focus from the griever and put it on themselves. Well, if I can fix that problem, I don't have to feel my own set of feelings anymore. And I know that's no one's conscious decision, but it's happening. And the griever then gets buried. So what do they do? They pull, they may try again with another person, but then they are really just going to pull that story into themselves. and They're not going to share it. And they're not going to share it with you because you just showed that you're not a safe listener. I can do it too, guys. This isn't just Rochelle Perfect. This is Rochelle Human, Grief Recovery Specialist. So what I hope that you will do is remember when someone's coming to you with their emotion, with their feeling, just listen to them. Listen to them with the intent of hearing the emotion behind the words. Oh, wow, it sounds like you're really overwhelmed. Wow, that must have been embarrassing. Ooh, and you see how I, my body is matching my words? That has to happen, guys, or the griever still is like, dude, you're not even listening. You don't even care. I can totally be that way, my poor husband. So what I hope that you hear today is how to be a really good listener, not jump into those fixes. It's just not helpful. Nobody really appreciates that. And you're breaking safety and trust between you and that and the, the griever. And I know that's not what you want. That's why you're going after the fix anyway. Try to stay focused. Don't put the fo focus on you. Focus on that griever, what their emotions are. Share a hug at the end of it all. And if you have any questions, Put them down in the bottom below. I'd love to hear from you. Love you. Bye-bye.